this is a very short video in PowerShell with Azure series uh, this video I'm creating because I know I encountered this situation a lot of time whenever we need to establish a lab for example you need to do the site-to-site -site, uh, connectivity or vnet to vnet connectivity so in order to do the vnet to vnet connectivity you need virtual network along with that you also need machine just to check how it works okay so you need two machines for that as well now in case you want to try want to check some kind of asr uh, migration Azure to Azure or physical to Azure just pretending machines in the Azure are physical inside the domain then again you need a little infrastructure in your hand so that you can perform your lab for example if you want to perform some Azure file sync that I'm gonna do in the next video using the same thing you need two VMs in the same region so that you can see the sync going on the essence of the story is we need some infrastructure in place so that we can perform our lab and what happens with me and I'm pretty sure this happens with most of the people if not most but a lot of the people uh, because of those many tasks to create the basic infrastructure the actual lab gets delayed okay now with the help of IAC you can of course do it if you have all your codes in place and with the help of the simple command of the PowerShell we can perform this again so in today's video we are going to create a virtual machine with a one click or you can say one command so you can see my screen right now if I type new AZVM it will create virtual machine for you you need not to do anything but it will create a single virtual machine right now I have write down this command it's a very simple command you're not defining anything you know N not like the virtual network siders or subnet siders those kind of thing you are only giving the name of your resource group so that you can choose the name of your resource group and the region so I define these two variables right here now look at the new AZVM command what it needs it needs a resource group we have given the resource group name then the name of your VM that you are deploying I have given the test VM 01 location whatever you want to choose I chose East US virtual network I am not deciding anything only giving the name subnet I'm only giving the name security group I'm only giving the name same goes for the public IP addresses because I'm gonna use these machines for the lab purpose and I'll get it off once my lab is done it may take 30 minutes one hour or two hours and these machines would be removed from the portal so that's how you can simply create virtual machine in your desired reasons you just need to change the region here or resource group here and your machine would be in place a basic infrastructure to perform the lab you can see it's asking for the name and the password username and the password I just provided now if you need multiple machines you can do in the same virtual network for example you need one for the AD and two as a member server you need to just copy the same command and paste it below and change the name of the machine that's all you need to do and of course you need to change the name of the public IP address and security group that's all you're not defining any group you're not defining any OS you're not defining any image nothing is happening everything would be default so once the VM is created I'll take you through the Azure portal where we can see what all default we get so that if you are not interested in the default you can define uh, especially in this PowerShell command all right so the whole point of creating this video is getting you to the lab or, or to do your actual task and preparing the basic infrastructure okay so let's wait while it's deploying the virtual machine and I'll get you through take you through the basic default that we get when we run these commands all right it has been deployed now you can see right here now let me run the another command now if you want these uh, output inside the variable only then you need to do this 
uh, let me show you let me put in the password first and I'll show you if you want the output inside the variable only then you need to put this VM1 or VM else you can run, you need to run this command and you would have the machine now I've run the another command it will create test VM02 the first created test VM01 in the same location the same VNet in the same subnet in and the security group is different and the, so is the public IP address so let me take you through the default values of the test VM01 let me minimize test VM01 it has been created now you can see it chooses DS1 V2 as a size 2016 data center as the image by default okay and if I click here disk it takes premium SSD 127 GB disk by default if you want any anything you want to change you can change in the code and you will be good to go but if you'll you just need a VM to run an IIS for example just to add it in the domain the symbol command will take you to uh, perform your lab task okay so let's go and check the network what kind of network it creates it creates simple 192.168 network and with slash 24 subnet so these are the default things that it creates now the, another one is running and it will create another VM in the same subnet uh, once it's done I'll, I'll take you through the settings and that's all the second VM is also been deployed let's go to the portal this is test VM02 you see the same image same size my VNet my subnet that's what we added my subnet my vnet location is also the same east us for both the vms so that's how you can simply deploy the vms if you need one more just copy this and paste it again change the name from zero to two to three all right want a different energy just change the name change the name of the IP and you can deploy the third VM inside the same third machine inside the same unit so that's how you can create a basic infrastructure to perform your actual lab task and uh, do the demonstration of your Azure resources or check the features of the Azure resources so that's all about the today's PowerShell with Azure and thank you for watching you have a good day